Welcome, agents, to Strain 60-EOA of the Zero Point Report, a broadcast all about the news surrounding the Secret World IP. Today is Thursday, March 24th, 2022, and I'm your host for this evening. Uh, uh, let me rephrase that. And I am Ocho, one of the hosts for this evening. With me tonight, we have, also co-hosting the show, we have Waffle, Two-Ton Waffle. Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen, yeah. Sehr gut, sehr gut. And we also have Jimmy the Rabbit. What? Who? Yep, yep. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Hmm? And keep speaking German. And Munchen Schade and Hofbräuhaus. House. <laughs> 99 Loft Balloons. <laughs> I, love the, I love the metal cover of that. The, t- the tax. 99 Siglu. That's a German in high school, so I know a little bit. Never did more than that. I can say sprechen in Deutsch and then proceed to not understand anything yet. It's my favorite thing to learn in languages is like, do you speak this language? And do you then, speak this? And then not be able to speak the language. They'd be like, no, that's, it. that's all I know. Parlez-vous français? The cheese is old and moldy. The papier paper. I can say, I can say it in French. I can say it in German. I can say, I can say it in Spanish. I can say it in all the languages I don't speak. I can say, do you speak this language? <laughs> Which is incredibly useful. <laughs> mm-hmm. The most in, useful, really. In in uh, trolling the shit out of people, I guess. Shiza. If I ever have the opportunity. <laughs> I need to learn it in a couple more languages. I think that'd be funny. Well, now we get uh, Google Translate, so. <laughs> yeah. You can do it like Japanese. Um, I know how to say you're rude in Tagalog. It's like Filipino. Uh Tagalog? Yeah. Yeah. But still, it's got a month I have two aunts that are Filipino. So okay. I, I've, I've, I've picked up, like, one phrase and the fact that I like lupia. Now, I'm, I'm a very, very basic, basic meat and potatoes. Like, the most basic eater possible. Mm-hmm. Nacho cheese is hot to me. Like, <laughs> like, it's too much. It's too spicy. It's too spicy. Well... But and, and like I don't like generally any Asian food, okay. At all, like you know, which is in California especially it was horrible. Everyone wants to go have like sushi or egg rolls or something. And I'm like, nope. Mm. nope. Just nope. add kale to it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I like. It needs to have potato, meat, and cheese, and pre- preferably not a lot else. <laughs> um, but lupia is fucking amazing. I can eat like a. Like an actual couple pounds of lupia and a half. Bigly. It's essentially a kind of roll, kind of like a like an egg, like a it, it, yeah. It's 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 a roll. It's like okay. it's like lightly, like crispy. It's got like okay. a little bit of like some kind of vegetable and meat inside, but they're super tiny and super light. Okay. And so I just eat them like, uh, they're a, they're a, they're a snack or something. But I eat like. An entire bucket of them. So, hello to anyone joining us in chat with tonight. Uh, Rafaim, Vomer, Leah Graham. Leo. Yeah. How's everybody? How's everybody doing? Hope you get, hope everyone's doing well this fine, fine evening. So, uh, so loud compared to intro music. Oh. Are we? Are we too? There loud? we go. Are we loud? You know what? Fucking deal. With it. <laughs> You've got a volume control. <laughs> Hey Volmer, there should be no more okay. echo. I was I was streaming I was streaming Secret World last night, and apparently the game volume wasn't there for like the first fucking twenty minutes. Mm, and, okay, and people didn't say anything, and there was people there. So I was like, no one was watching for twenty minutes. They came in and said hi, and then didn't tell me for twenty minutes that the game audio wasn't there. Well, at least it's a lot better than uh, we're on mute. So true. True. Yes, too loud better than been on mute. I've done that before too. I think everyone's done every every streamer has done that at least once. I had to move faster than my body's currently capable of. It hurt a little. To adjust the volume or like in general? To turn down the volume. Doing some late night game dev work, so doing fine? Okay. Question mark? <laughs> Question mark. I do most of my like I wanna say most I do I a lot of doing uh, my work at, at night as well because any kind of project I just need I need to focus on. I have tr- trouble doing it in the day. I'm a night owl by nature, so. Mm. 
like this week I've spent like a couple of like two I think Tuesday like I didn't stream I didn't play games I literally worked for like three or four hours from like eight to midnight or something okay that's the best development time falls over crossing room to slap volume knob <laughs> Oh, Wait, yeah. Why is your volume knob across the room? And why is it an actual <laughs> physical knob? It's it's, it's a it's slider. Right, right. This is this is the nineties. It's one of those what like. Year sound are you living in? All you gotta do. It's a little slider that's uh, right below me. So it's just slide below me. That's take that slider. Go that. back. <laughs> I'm, w- I'm waiting for. I somehow have a Chrome like a Chromecast hooked up to my 13 inch black and white. <laughs> TV, because that would be amazing. That you have that to get up and actually change channels. Would be. <laughs> that's that's literally like my um this this setup that I have for uh for audio in my car. Because my car is so old, I have a um uh a I still have a tape deck, and so I have one of those like tape deck that has like a it's a tape to like one eighth inch converter, but oh yeah. That but it doesn't really work well because it's not it's not a grounded audio system. So I have to have a grounder in between that, and then that is attached to a Bluetooth receiver. <laughs> so I had something similar. I had the tape deck because I had a tape deck like converter, mm-hmm. and the tape deck had like a like an audio input cable or whatever. And then I had a PSP hooked up okay. to be my my system. So my, my, my PlayStation Portable had like a mount in the car and I had all my I had all my music on that and it had an audio cable running to the tape deck converter and so it would play through the car's speakers mm-hmm. and I'd go on my PlayStation and like pick like the album. That was pretty cool too because then I could just like take the, the PlayStation Portable off and I could go mm-hmm. play games with it and come back to my car and just pour it, you know, plug it <laughs> dear, in. Dear, dear Lord. Hey. Uh, listen, when, when your car is as old as my, I have a, I drive a, um, I'm actually, I'm actually proud of it. I drive a 99 Toyota Corolla and I'm proud of it because the car has been paid off for more than a decade and <laughs> it's, it's still driving and it's, it's still going strong, but I have this fear that the second I make any, the second that I make any, what is, what is currently going on here? <laughs> it's Poland. Hi, Poland. They're playing the Klein tapes. I was going to say, why, why do I hear Klein all of a sudden? So, uh, fun fact, in the Angry Earth, you know, when you go into the Ankh yes. and you get the tape recordings, if you play them outside of there, they play to everybody. Oh. God. That's how I know Poland is around. Cause... Yeah, no, I, I see Poland. Yep, they're standing right there. They like to save them up and then come play them. Find me wherever I am at in the game when I'm streaming and just all of a sudden you hear Klein. Just start. You want to hear Klein right now. You know you do. So I think you can collect. I'm pretty sure you can collect all the memory cards and like not listen to them. And then you just take them elsewhere. And they play to the whole instance. Or at least the whole area. But I think maybe the whole instance. Hey, look, there's a Gaki. We already got Gaki showing up too. Yep. Hello, Gaki. It's like they know we're here. How do they know? How do they know? Oh, they're attacking me. Hold on. <laughs> That's because I uh, I popped my signature. I wanted to see what would happen. Oh, they attack. Yeah. Well, sort of. Psychic link is happening. They do. Yeah. On a goko. They've been following Poland. They don't even stop. I'm a member of the secret world. It's dance off, bro. <laughs> Gotta have a dance off. Okay. So that was like one of my favorite parts of the, my pacifist playthrough was finding out that you can dance while um, being attacked, and it, and the attacks against you don't interrupt your dancing. It's lovely. So I could reflect damage to them while dancing. <laughs> and I was just gonna dance. Yeah. I was dancing during the Mara fight, and at some point, I swear to God, I looked like I was just slapping her in the face because my character was like doing the, the dance move where they're like moving their hands around like this. And just, like, saunters up to Mara dancing, who's, like, attacking and just getting reflex damage, and just goes like this. <laughs> it was amazing. They've multiplied. I love them all. Fantastic. So, no, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of proud of my car, because it's, like, the, it's, like, the oldest car, and it just, it, it's just not dying. It's just still running. Well, they don't make them like they used to. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but but I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid of uh, putting in something new. So I keep thinking like, well, maybe you know, instead of having this one thing that connects to another thing that connects to another thing, in order to you know play something from my phone, uh, why don't I just I don't know um, replace the stereo? The stereo, <laughs> yeah. Because then you're upset the natural balance. Right, yeah. and then and then it, the car will die. Yeah. So that's my thing. Is is whenever I put any significant amount of money into it, that's when it will die. So, yeah. um, I, I once drove a car into the ground, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I say my wife jokes that uh, that like, like I'll need my battery replaced, and she's like, "Well, car's totaled. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna like? <laughs> I, I need to fill up the gas tank. Well, sorry, car's totaled now." That that was pretty much the value of the car right there. Yeah, right. The stereo uh, is critical to tail lights or something. Yeah, so so I do this. I'm, that is possible. Well, not back in the nineties. Everything was kind of separate. I mean, it was easy to repair. Now it's like you got to take off the front fender or the bumper to even change out the battery. But that's also a point too. Like it's made me kind of scared of getting a new car because, like, and I'm into technology. I'm fine with technology. I'm good with technology. But if the technology, but but see, part of that is also I know technology fails. It's you sort of get one of them new electric cars that drives itself. Kind of, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Those those work perfectly. And uh, um, so well, I know even that you know if they don't. It's not like you're gonna wake up dead because you'd be dead. So like, yeah, <laughs> you wouldn't be waking up. Well, that'd be uh, a that'd be a bigger problem if you did wake up. It's, it's sort of like sort of like when you when you fix technology all day, the last thing you want is for that talk technology to like be in, you know, have any sort of say about whether you could actually drive home or not. And I'm like I, like I'm good with not having like the least amount of tech in my car. There's more tech in your car, even that one, than you probably. Or somebody hacking into your car. Like cars have had, I mean, they have a decent amount of tech. It's just different. Well, it's all air gapped. Yeah. yeah. Like, like it still has like whatever the port is, like you know the um like the digital port to yeah like there's to check, stuff going to check on engine there. codes and whatnot. So that there is still a lot in there per se, and I know at least a couple of it has broken in my car, and it's not serious enough to actually do anything. But that's another big electric. joke in my car is periodically the check engine light will pop on, and then like three days later it just goes off on its own. It's like okay. Yeah, see they have like an electrical system, you know, as well, and that that can do weird stuff. I remember one time I was driving down the freeway and all of a sudden just like everything started blinking and the speedometer started doing this and like all the things were like went, and I was like oh You're like, shit. No, I'm gonna pull over <laughs> yeah uh, horror stories and, of getting trapped in newfangled cars with electric key lock systems yeah that's that's sort of sort of yeah something something along that lines yeah well, it doesn't even have to be electrical I had a old Buick Skylark that. The uh, accelerator cable got stuck underneath, and it held the uh, the pedal like the throttle wide open. And of course, I'm like, yeah, I'm coming up to a light. I'm, I let go of the gas. I'm like, oh, why we're not? I so saw instantly. I popped in neutral. Of course, it just revved all the way up. Oof. Yeah, but that's the only way you can do it. Like I know that like like was it even nowadays? Like they have to come with at least the screen. Like I think backup cameras are starting to be standard. Yeah. Um. And and that's that's fine actually. Backup cameras are you know they're, they're a huge handy. safety thing. They do help you to like stop running over. <laughs> so running over small children. Running over. Yeah. Um. So no, it's like you know safety things like you know. So I know it's gonna have a screen on it, but like like uh, like I don't know like I know people have that screen and then they have a GPS, but their GPS is now like. I don't know, eight years old or something. And so like, it doesn't really get updates and whatnot. And so all this, so they're like, so they don't even use GPS that's in, that's like in the big screen on their car. They instead just use their phone. And it's like, well, you know, why have that giant amount of technology? It's like, cause none of it is actually really supported. Right. Well, now some, some of them like Tesla or uh, was it BMW were doing like a, um, you got to subscribe to unlock Sub- certain features. Subscribe to unlock features in your car. Yeah. Like heated seats. Yeah. No, Valmer, I'm, I'm glad I didn't crash. I had, as growing up, I had like the crappiest of cars. I, I even drove a uh, Ford Aerostar van that the uh, uh, differential went out on me. And that was fun too because you hit the brakes 
and all of a sudden the back end is just pop, 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 hopping. <laughs> I think the worst car, or like, well, also kind of fun is, but I had a Geo Metro. Oh, that was like a. We like had like. Egg beater. Oh, we had like you six people tire we can fit into basically it. Basically, like golf cart. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they weigh like nothing. It's a three cylinder engine. <laughs> <laughs> we had six people. My friend has had one. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I used to take people to like, parties in that piece of crap. I, it wasn't that though. I had a different car. I don't remember what it was, but I remember I was going down a hill, and I w- and there was a stoplight on the hill, mm-hmm. and I pushed on the brake, and there was this weird popping sound, and then neither the brake nor the emergency brake worked. They mm. both they both went at the same time. The and cable I just snapped. Slid through the light going down the hill. I was like, um, okay, so now what do I do? Because I can't <laughs> like if stop. I hit the gas, I'm not stopping. Yeah. And so there was this turn this way, like up a hill. I was like, like, and there was no oncoming traffic. So I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna go up this hill. And then I remembered that this was called Hospital Hill, both because there was a hospital on top of the hill, but also because the downside of it was super steep and people would like skateboard down it <laughs> and you would get hurt. <laughs> so I Went up the hill and then came down that hill, like, metal on metal, <laughs> trying to get something to do. And, and it, it didn't work. So, somehow, I made it literally, like, ten minutes and rolled into an auto zone. Just, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, like, seriously made it somehow. Because it was an area I knew really well that I lived, like, I lived around. So, yeah. like, I knew all the streets. And I knew that I was going down. If I could make the down, the next thing was up towards, like, where the auto stuff was. Right, so you're like, I can speed up a little bit because I can coast, right, because it'll stop my momentum. I literally fucking coasted into a parking spot and, like, hit the (laughs) curb, like, (laughs) It's fucking amazing. And they had to keep my car, but they couldn't release it to me until it was fixed because it literally, like... Because it's undrivable. Well, yeah, you yeah. can't drive it. A liability. Like, they had, like, like, you, yeah, it's like some sort of law liability. Like the there. master cylinder had to be replaced and something else had to be replaced. Like, it was it was literally a runaway runaway vehicle. But it's really sketchy to like be on a downhill, have a red light, and realize that you're not stopping. And the right. car just kind of goes through a little sideways. Just mm-hmm. like, well, I hope no one's coming through. <laughs> yeah. Start leaning on the horde. <laughs> Coming through. <laughs> yeah, that was that one was interesting. I think that's also not supposed to happen. Like, they're supposed to be like redundant things. So like, if one brake system fails, like the other one should catch. And somehow you should have the backup. Well, yeah. yeah, the e-brake is all it is. It's just a cable. Like in older cars, yeah, all it is is a steel cable. Yeah, I think it snapped. Or something. That connects to uh, yeah. your rear tires. It didn't work. Like, I pulled it, and, like, nothing happened. And that's always, because it's, like, that's that's your last resort. You're, like, um. Yeah. Like, well, I'm a missile now. So Jesus, so. take the wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fun stuff. Hey, you guys, I shared the mission. You guys want to do Equinox? Since it's of Equinox. Course. So, I, I want to point something out first. I just, I just noticed this. I joked about, right, the whole um, Fairgas Abernathy, who basically you get the quest from. Yeah. And um, how he was, uh, when they first launched this, uh, this is, well, actually, point out, this is the eighth uh, Envoys of Avalon since they started it back in 2017? No, I said that 2018 is when they started Envoys of Avalon in September. Uh, so this is now the eighth one. And I'm not sure if it was the first one or, or the second one, but... Uh, <laughs> they were surrounded by so many people, they had trouble. So they're very, like, they had a, uh, um, they did a hot fix on him where they made him, like, a giant, essentially. <laughs> yeah, so you can target the mission. They made him massively tall. But what I didn't realize is that his hitbox is so big that you can't even get within, like, two feet of him. Oh, yeah, he's got, like, a force field. Yeah, he has this, like, force field surrounding him. You cannot, uh... Can I get anywhere near him? I wonder if you can, like, cartwheel through it. <laughs> Why not? Give it a try. <laughs> no. Oh, no, you don't. You just straight up bounce off that shit. No. Yeah, that's why, Serlina. I like it. Bomber was like, that's a way to pronounce his name. <laughs> Fergus? That's how you pronounce it? Fergus? 
Is it? Is it? It's it's Bob. Fergus or is it Fergus or Chad? That's a way to pronounce his name. That's for sure. What fair gas? <laughs> I I see the G H A S as gas, but yeah, no, sure that's not, I'm sure, sure it's, it's wrong. Not, I'm sure it's not just Fergus. I think I think Fer- Fergus sounds like a like a Scottish name, right? Yeah, yeah it's I like, like I need to quickly look it up. Uh, all you gotta do is put on the, the really bad accent, Fergus Abernathy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's, it sounds like that should be how it is. Everything down is. Fergus pronunciation. How to pronounce dot com. Try it with Irish. Can I play it? Yeah, Fergus. That's what I said. Fear gas. What, you're just saying fear gas. That's not it. <laughs> I went to how to pronounce how to pronounce dot com. Sketchy as heck, I know. Yeah. But it says yeah. fear gas. <laughs> I mean, Vollmer said Fergus. In that doesn't chat. sound right. That doesn't sound right, too. Fear Gus. Fear Gus. Fear Gus. <laughs> fear Gus. He is the one to be feared. <laughs> you will all fear Gus. I mean, look at him. You definitely would fear him. Babynamespedia.com. That sounds like a more trustworthy website. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, man? Hey, what E level can you guys queue for? F is in fee. In uh, call defense. Oh, um, that's a good question. It's, it's no, just it's it's shift V. You can see, I think you should be able to see what you have unlocked, maybe. Yeah, um, maybe a call defense. Call defense. I can do up to well, I've got up to wave 33. I don't do wave 33 comfortably, though. Well, no, but you'll have all the checkboxes. But which one can you actually do? You have to have it unlocked. I know I've taken you guys through some waves before, that's what I'm trying to remember. I think because I'm a group, it won't actually let me, it won't actually let me show. No. Wait, private team, sorry. Is that working or no? No. It might be because you have the window up. Oh, I have to be a leader. Well, I'm just trying to queue. It's really on. I don't think it's working because you guys aren't getting prompts, so let me go a wave lower. Well, here, let's just, um... No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Just, just, just hold on. This is fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're fine, this is fine. um, (laughs) How are you? We could, uh, um, ungroup for a second so we could check. Fine, fine. I just wanted to queue repeatedly until one of them worked. So now if you look at a cult defense, you should be able to see which ones you have. But you have to exit your group. Yeah. All the way yeah. Um, I have up to wave 19 is my highest. Look at solo. But uh, yeah, I consider I could do at least solo. Oh, no, that's that's multiplayer, right? Uh, solo. 19. Same. Wave 19. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. uh, yeah, I could do up to wave 19 uh, as my highest. That's that's about it. Uh, <laughs> I consider wave 11 has been my highest complete, like, by myself. Uh, but I wanted to be the healer. I guess I'll be Tracer. You can be the healer. Those icons mean... <laughs> I know. Let's face it, dude, is going to be literally everything. Yeah. Hop on, boys. F is in Time B. for the deadlift. <laughs> ER as in hurt, fur, G as in grin. Let it go, man. Ah as in mud. mud. What? Hey, what this is about? fur Fergus. Fergus. That's what I yeah. said fucking fear. half hour ago. Fear guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I still like fair guess. I just realized Waffle's still loading. <laughs> I was like, Waffle's not here yet. Did you crash? Uh, I don't know yet. Fear Gus. Fair gifts? Those gifts were pretty fair. I don't think he's coming. That's what she said. Oh, got him. No, I still got the music playing, but... I'm pretty sure you crashed. Yeah. What website was that? Babynamespedia.com That is an awfully... awfully complex way of, of pronouncing it. I'll put it, in, I'll put it in the text of what I, what I saw. What it has as far as the pronunciation. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mother of God. All right, I'm just going to control alt delete. Boo So I don't know if you saw my, my content this week, but uh, our, our, our E17 raid, uh, the, 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 the third floppy, the one that's always okay. delayed that you have to wait for. Yeah. It's like where you just, you know, you get a drink, smoke a cigarette, 
you know, take a potty break, and then eventually the flappy flies down. Mm-hmm. So, like, someone threw out a rainbow. Uh, so, like, right when the flappy flew in, like, it flew into the rainbow, and there was, like, a rainbow-colored flappy for a minute. <laughs> like, I was taking a drink, and I was like, what the hell? You're like, nice. Nice. That's pretty sweet. It made, it, yeah. it made for a good YouTube thumbnail. And then yesterday, I did the entire Angry Earth chain uh, with hot sauce. Nice. I Which... saw you. I, I came in your um because I have I have the 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 bad habit of coming into streams and not saying a damn word. Um, uh-huh. I am a lurker. You monster. We gotta call call out lurkers. I'm we, I'm a lurker extreme. We 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 kill you in the raid. I'm just saying. <laughs> but uh no yeah I came in as you were fighting um the uh, the genie. Oh right yeah at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a the interesting bite. A biter bit. <laughs> gravity. Something like that. I have that bad habit too. Hey, gravity. So, uh... Yeah, it's bad. Because when, when I'm streaming, I have no problems, like, just talking. But yet, like, I don't know. I'm playing a game. I'm watching someone. I don't know. So, But I heard someone use the term soft lurking. That it's soft lurking. It's soft? How the fuck is it soft lurking? <laughs> oh, because you're actually watching? Because you're actually watching, and you will participate, just not every... You're not just, like, focused oh, okay. on talking. Gotcha. But periodically, you will, like, you know, chime in with something. Soft lurking. So the, the thing I found with the with the, the pyramid part, at least, was I had, I had to keep dropping the torch to heal myself okay. and then pick the torch back up. Like, mm. a stupid amount of times. And then my power went out, but just for my computer, which was really annoying... I, got, I must have tripped a circuit on the plug that's on or something. Okay. Because um, the, the whole battery backup thing that it was connected to just alarm went off. and But the treadmill was still on. Because that that's was weird. Into that thing. It was plugged yeah. in. You know? So something tripped. So on my stream, I had to, like, had to start the computer back up, had to restart the stream and all that crap. And it kicked power me out. Of, just to one specific. Yeah, that, that, yeah it sounds more like a, like a yeah, tripped, tripped something. A breaker or something. Yeah. So then I get back into the pyramid, but it spawns me at the beginning of the pyramid. Okay. But it kept my progress. All the puzzles were solved. So I had to spend like five minutes running through an empty solved pyramid, which is actually <laughs> way creepier. You know? Like you walk through a room and the, the, the symbols are all lit up and it's solved. You know, there's no... There's no mummies, there's no rolling rock, but it's just quiet mm-hmm. and creepy as fuck. By the way, I'm going to I'm going to point out Gravity. Gravity plays a lot of Shroud of the Avatar and he plays a lot of other games and Gravity you should play Secret World. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying, man. Try a hit of crack. Okay, it's nothing you. it's nothing like uh it's not a sandbox. It it is a lot more story based, but um it's a lot of good story. All that time and I didn't even like change my build. Uh, I got I got an all purpose build. I can't see the map. Shit. That's not good. Oh, I'm stunned. Things are in the middle. Things are in the middle. Uh oh. We always say if you like a game that just is, you know, has great story and just deep lore and um if you're into that if you're into that horror not really horror. It's it's the argument of like, is this game a horror game? I would classify it as yes. Oh. But that's just because it has horror themes. Like very rarely I mean, it, it does it. Depends on the it depends on the person. There's some jump scares. Some people are just more easily scared than others. I've I've come to realize I'm just dead inside. Fair. Don't fight those. Don't fight those. Don't fight those. Don't fight those. Just let them blow up. Do we fight these? Uh, sure. Don't fight those. I'm, I'm, I'm just in my tank build, by the way. This might not have been the best idea. I'm just healing. We need, we need to get these things out of the center. Jesus. I was going to say, let's see who <laughs> back if we can, but more stuff is popping in. I'm trying to pull it back out. I feel like I'm, I'm just, like, tapping them on the shoulder. 19 may be the biggest wave that I'm done, but it's certainly not a wave I'm effective at. Well, I'm sure it was when I ran you guys through last time. Yes. <laughs> this is probably where we ended. <laughs> this is where we stopped. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I don't like that. Oh, we get the bomb. Oh my gosh. What? Just look at the the screen as far as what's coming into the center, and there's a lot of orange on that one. Uh, it's no problem. Yeah, it's, it's just because it's coming from everywhere. That's all. I'm uh, running distraction on them. The leader's here. It's clearly really a daddy dating sim with an FPS game slapped on top. I mean, you don't have to be so forward with the truth there, man. Waffle and I will take care of this one mob. We got it. We got We're it. Good. We're, We're good. We're good. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I was talking about. Is it? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, teamwork <laughs> <laughs> makes the dream work. All clear. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Much appreciated. Hey, we got your back. We're here for moral support. Really, is what's going on. <laughs> Fireball! Fireball! Clink! Clink! Two damage! Two damage! Here, I, I'll, I'll give this to me. Did you just throw your body at him? Is that what happened? <laughs> Hold me. Hold me. I blocked those shots. You're welcome. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, we're missing the flame guys. See, throw my body at him, made him disappear, so, yeah. Yeah, we only lost half the hagstone. Wait, we're still high, it's all advances. I need to switch builds, probably. <laughs> I probably do, too, yeah. So give us a second here. Now, the reason, of course, why we're running a cult defense is because <laughs> it we're currently in the Envoys of Avalon event, which happens uh, every equinox. And so um, we just passed the spring equinox. Happy spring. And so, right, got the Envoys of Avalon going on until the end of the month. There is, of course, a login reward going on for it where you can get Fergus. Fergus, is that what we landed on? Fergus? Abernathy? Uh, Steve Ab Abernathy. Steve. <laughs> oh no! It's, no, I'm sorry. It's not even Fergus's. It's, it's um, Beer Gas. The other name that I can't pronounce. Who? What? De Divicus. Oh, that. Oh. Uh, Div Divicious. Div <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> Where if you log in, uh, eleven days, which uh, at this point. Uh, since this goes on until the 31st, well, you only got seven more days left. So if you start now, well, uh, you, 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 a bit out of luck. But um, just wait till next year. You just wait till just wait till next equinox. Just wait till the it's just wait fine. till September for the next equinox. Uh, you can get the agent dossier of div divicious div divitiation deliciousness deliciousness <laughs> amazing. <laughs> D I V I C I A C U S. That guy. Devious. Sure. Devious. Devious. Um. I can't, I can't even come close. Okay, okay. You Don't get, hurt yourself, kid. You get his dossier. <laughs> you get his agent dossier. All right, and, so I can click play. Uh, 14 through, you get a weapon fusion catalyst. Click. Everything else is okay. All right. I want to show you guys how a pro does this. Oh, there they are. I got him. Is it a PvP uniform you expected to die? Come here, you. You prepare for the unexpected. All right. All right, Jimmy, You want to, what you want to do is not standing oh, no. in, in the circles. Uh, Jimmy can stand in the circles. He can stand wherever. See, this is what happens when you stand in the circles. I'm going to spend the entire time killing one filth infected. That's really what this is going to turn into. All right. I'll save you guys. Oh. I'm sure it is. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Nope. I'm down. I say we're we're doing, we're trying wave we're now on wave twenty you see and uh, uh, my I've got an item power of uh, six thirty nine which puts me e five e six well it's called excellent five I don't know where I was going with that yeah sure Ugh. really I might be able to take care of those I say I, I don't think though their health goes up as as high I could be wrong. Oh, we only got five seconds left. We're good. Leader created. You just got to bring him out. That's what I'm doing. Got him. Follow me. <laughs> Two more to go. My job here is... D I love the Shade Stalker. There's so many bosses that I'm like, when they release the uh, the tabletop stuff, I'm really excited to see, like, I don't know, like what the, what the, uh, the enemy... You know what? What they're gonna be? What their what their special abilities are gonna be? Are like how are they gonna translate some of these to to D and D? <laughs> One shot. We did it, guys.
Woot! Good job. Teamwork. Hey, not, not too much loss on that one either. Oh, and we got a Hagsel rest restoration item. Nice. Nice. You can actually heal it. And it's googly eyes, yes. <laughs> and it's googly eyes. It didn't at all. The oh, it did. It went back to a half. Okay. You say so. Yeah. It was like a uh, quarter left. All right. All right. Next. Play. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> I mean, we'll probably lose this one, but it doesn't hurt. Like, it doesn't no, hurt no. you to, to lose it because you always keep the loot from the last one. Come out, come out to play. What's it? Well, oh, I don't have a. I didn't really. I don't have an impair. It's not great. Oh, we'll take care of the hard ones here. <laughs> That's what she said. Just, Actually, go uh, get just... those bombs. Go get those bombs and drag them over, so they don't go to the center. Over here, I need to <laughs> run. I'm like slowly. Ah, uh, this looks like a good spot for a nap. Oh, we have a swarm inbound. Are you serious? Ah, oh, no biggie. You no, know the singularity is gonna follow me around for a while. That's really all that's gonna happen. D don't stand in there. Oh, or that one. Commander's coming. Or commander's over here, actually. I got him. Uh, what? what are you talking about? <laughs> Waffle the elite. Yeah, I didn't see him. I, I, I got him. Like plinking him in the back. Like get back here. You shall not pass. Ah, one of them is down. I'm drawing them out. Success. Yeah, ground taking the return. Try to pick up the bombs if you can. I'm gonna go center. But they're dangerous. <laughs> but but I mean, they're bombs. Yeah. No. Look at that. One hit. Yeah, I saved you with that. With my body. No, no, it's that's that's the plan. I attack them with broken gear and they run away. Hmm. They get they're so, they're, they're so scared. Yeah. See? They glanced at me and like, oh, God, no. It's like, I'm going to go after the other guy. Yeah, there we go. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. Is he invisible? We still have the fucking revenant hanging out for some reason. Are you sure that's just not my, because uh, I'm, I'm still wielding oh, a, a revenant weapon. Right, it could, yeah, yeah, it could be you. It's helping us. I thought it was the, one of the actual revenants. No, no, he's just coming in periodically, slapping him and leaving. Dude, we did it! Woohoo! Hey, gear. Well, <laughs> gear. <laughs> Who needs No, gear? Your, your gear isn't broken, but your anima is. It's okay. You can don't, just fix it just by clicking on the thing. Don't talk about my anima like that. Guys, we you unlocked the next checkpoint. Next time we can start at wave 21. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> ah, that's right. <laughs> Two waves at a time, we can keep ratcheting up. <laughs> That's right. Gear can't break if you don't fix it. But it's not, it's technically it's not gear. It's your soul. Your soul is broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, having to go through this month to break any of my soul. Uh, now I want to play a couple waves myself, get closer to the 5,000 waves. <laughs> Says Leogrim. Yeah, I'm, I think that's what I still don't have. I have a lot, but I think I'm missing... Farmer says it's too late for me to be helpful in occult defense, so I just get you all killed somehow. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm only on, I'm only on two thousand one hundred and seventeen out of five thousand. Ooh, so, you know. Okay. Still a little ways to go. Still pretty good though. Yeah, I haven't. I have. To be honest, I haven't been grinding that for a while. There was some streams where I just played like something on loop for two hours straight, <laughs> and did wait. I got the. Got the best offense uh, achievement. Nice, nice. Oh, did you get an achievement this run? Or did you a generally? couple of them, yeah. Defeat each type of special enemy in an occult defense scenario. I was missing the sap. Pick that up. Nice. Uh, yeah. And I'm up to a total of 319 waves. <laughs> Woohoo! Wait, don't you need 500 just for the... Envoy thing? Just uh, VR power well, it's for the spawner. It's for the title. For the title Envoy, you need 500. Is it? Yeah. I'll say 500 that. Waves. You got the outfit. The outfit's far less. Yeah, the outfit is like, is like nothing. The outfit's 100. But the title of Envoy is 500. And it's, by the way, it's 500 during the event. During the event only, yeah. Yeah. I was like, that's why yeah, the outfit, 500... The 
because uh, right now 500 just says VR power up spawner beta version. No, you, you know. have to go to the events achievements and look at Envoys of Avalon. That one has a 500 for the title. Complete 500 waves of occult defense during the Envoys of Avalon event. Okay, now I'm only up to 199 of that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yep, you're one away from 200. You know, if you guys, if I just realized, like we're now I, the side mission I shared, we're at three of ten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You guys want to start at E1 and just burn through, like, some some easy ones? Just go through a whole bunch of easy waves. Yeah, we just could do that. for the mission. All right, let's, let's loot and get out of here, because there's no way this thing's surviving than 22. Oh, <laughs> That's psh. not happening. I do have inventory space. I never could, Cotton. Where is mine? I open you. I was going to say, I can't open the reward chest. Oh, there's that one. Space? Is it because you don't have space? I oh, have, I've, got I've got space. Well, bye. There it goes. <laughs> I took like ten steps back and came back in. Yeah, if you if you're too close to it when it spawns. There we go. Back away from the chest. Run away. That's what, that that's what she said. <laughs> it's basically the equivalent of turning it off and turning it back on again. Also, what she said. Yeah, we can start at E one and just go to like E seven. Yeah. Just We'll just plow through everything like it's not I was like, that I'll be able to plow through, yeah. I, I usually go with the backflip out method. <laughs> right, got, we got to add a little panache in there. Yeah, I get the style points. Why won't you let me hug you, Fergus? All right, we'll, we'll go wave one. I would say he keeps people at arm's length, but they're pretty long arms. His um, wingspan's what, 10, maybe 12 feet? It should be the he same can, as his height. He can definitely has a reach, yeah. He can clock you. Your wingspan is supposed to be the same as your height. Like, if you go like this and measure... Yeah, if you do T-pose. Yeah, yeah, it should. it's supposed to be the same. Or, or like, roughly the same. Or roughly the same, yeah. Uh, I need to swap out for an AOE ability. Okay. I also don't need to, but... I, whatever. You want to. It's just better to. Sure isn't the same if you're a bird, right? Yeah, yes, but we're not birds. So, you know. <laughs> we so can jump on. into the tree, though. Oh, I remember the, the day I jumped into the tree, I was so happy. You have to jump for the V. That's all you got to do. This poor zombie. Oh, okay. wait, there's no one here. I'm useful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's... Oh, so, <laughs> wow. The, I think we need to take a... Um, oh, you got those just, ones? Oh, yeah. Wait. We're, we're on wave one. <laughs> Still, even so... I got him. No problem. Google's math for topology of birds. What? So you can figure out the birds as mountains? They're clearly fjords. I mean, come on. Hi. Oh, incoming. I got them. Did you? <laughs> Did you mean you took pictures of them? <laughs> <laughs> right before they died. I got them. I mean, I got them something nice. Yeah. I was giving a, uh, a fruit basket. <laughs> Where the hell is your mini map? Model? It's it's up there. Okay, I see it now. I couldn't see it at first. Mine's covered, so I was <laughs> trying to use yours. The chat keeps covering my my uh, my mini map. So oh, because I have chatty with like on screen prompts. Yeah, for, yeah, I did the same I thing, but uh, but my chatty's on the opposite side. I... <laughs> that would be a problem. <laughs> so like every time someone talks, it covers the mini map. So I was trying to use was trying to use waffles on the on the other screen. Oh, I got him! I got him! Yeah! There's a big difference between wave 1 and wave 20. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, it's 19 waves. <laughs> oh, I got these two. I helped. I mean, I could just stand in the middle and just, like, wait for shit. Not a problem. Next. Hold on. Next. <laughs> crouch, crouch, crouch. You have to actually what? go click, click next. Well, we, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody does. Two out of three have to, have to agree. It's birds. Birds all the way down. Wait, is that a basket of apples? Aw. Nice. <laughs> it's a fruit basket. I, I got them an edible arrangement. <laughs> no, come see. Oh, There's the one yeah. streaming. Like, you, gotta, you gotta come see the, the basket it's of It's right apples. in front of the hagstone. Ah, see? Well, don't stand in the fire. Well, it's, not, it's on fire right now, but you know. Oh, it's, it's baking. Oh, baked apple. Okay, even better. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Uh, yeah, guys, don't stand in the fire. It hurts. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. My mom. 
Nom 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 nom. You're not nom, my nom, supervisor. Nom. Nom 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 nom. Hello there. Goodbye. Oh, he you was just are the weakest link. He was saying hello. Is that what you do with all your neighbors? <laughs> what? Keep them under my floorboards? Oh, that too. But yeah. I'm kidding. They wouldn't fit under my floorboards. Jesus. They fit in the attic. I'm on a slab. Fat bastards. <laughs> I'm having a whole bunch of. Like I tried. I feel like there's a really horrible like sitcom there. You know, <laughs> someone just like trying my to do neighbor all under the, the floorboards. <laughs> <laughs> no, trying to do all the classic serial killer things that just can't get it right. It doesn't work. Oh, you know what I mean? Just like like, you know, the like I'm gonna try to problems. wall you up. <laughs> I'm gonna try to lure you into my basement using this cask of Amontillado. So they're like. Um, they try Whoops, to, like, roll I don't body have up. any bricks. Bum, they try to roll a body up in a carpet, but they use the wrong carpet. Like it doesn't work, and like everything sticks out. <laughs> like, God damn it! How does this work? They use a bathroom rug. I, I feel like there's a show there. Or, or they, or they have like the, uh, like the carpet samples, and they try taping the ball about together. A, about a sociopath serial killer just the try is trying to do it right and just can't make it happen. Is it like? Every episode, they just end up just getting arrested for it anyway. Like, no, that no, they still, they still, they don't get arrested. Like the, the show, the show, we have to keep going, right? So, like, they don't ever get caught. They're just really bad at it, but somehow everyone else is just stupid. So maybe, like, maybe in... the premise is like a like a Groundhog's Day sort of situation where like he's repeating the same day over and over again, but he's a serial killer. No, they're just like in the Midwest, so his neighbors keep helping him, thinking he's doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey there buddy it looks like you got a big package let me help you I can't tell if you're being a neighbor or like the town prostitute sure <laughs> serial killer version of team rocket yes I'll take the hagstone okay <laughs> click click play wait there's, was there an apple out of the there's two apples out of the basket oh no that wasn't there before yeah that's different they're, they're falling out now Num num num. Well, I mean, you know, they were hit by fire, so yeah, it, you know, to expand, explosion or two. Somebody must have bumped into it. They're getting jostled around. Like, like they have, they try and put like heads in their in their fridge, like they've seen, and like they can't get the heads to fit because the shelving, the shelving is off size. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh man. Like, this is the way they do it. Their, their frustration, you know? They try to leave a note by cutting out parts of magazines, but they, they can't find any magazines. Yeah, magazines they aren't try like... to emulate Zodiac Killer or something, but they get it yeah. all wrong. Yeah, the only magazines they can get from are, are from the library. <laughs> oh, hey there, Jim Bob. Uh, all the magazines are not... are all cut open, so we'll have to order oh, some okay. more. Yeah, don't you know you can get them on your Kindle? Just cut up pieces of a Kindle screen. <laughs> I try tries making a secret code to uh, get others to uh, to to break, but it's just gibberish, so it's unbreakable. Oh, what, oh, what are those uh, newspapers that like a very local newspaper that no one reads? I'll magically pick it up from the driveway, put it in a recycle or garbage. More apples, more apples. Trying to make a message from cut out newspaper letters, but only by Russian and Chinese Wait, magazines. Someone... Is this like the Orion constellation? What's going on here? Hey, who keeps messing with my apples? This is a very expensive fruit basket. Well, listen, they're the, they're the monster's apples. Why they you... can do what they want with them. It's theirs. Why are you playing are you with... You guys cut out newspaper letters but only buying Russian and Chinese fancy. If you notice, one of the apples has been eaten. What? <laughs> I'm going to stand right by and see who's messing with my apples. How are they getting... Apple Watch 2022. That's six way. We need tacos now. Tacos. Apple tacos. Tacos, tacos go well with apples, right? Right? Really? What doesn't go I mean, with tacos? Well, because it has cheese on it, and cheese goes go with apples, so I'm going to say yes. Cheese does go with apples. It's true. Except for this one time. I was In band camp. An episode of DuckTales, <laughs> and I was eating, like, I think, like, Monterey Jack in an apple. At the okay. same time, they were sliding on a bar of soap across the screen, and somehow my brain interpolated soap and the cheese I was eating, and then I couldn't eat it anymore. 
like it connected the visual like a little a little too well yeah with the cheese and then my cheese tasted like soap and i just i couldn't do cheese and that and that that cheese and apple i couldn't do anymore because i kept tasting soap that's fair damn you duck tails woo woo soap shenanigans the brain is a fucking weird thing you know oh at least a big mess don't you know question of yeah reality perception well, just like, really, like, we just go with what our brains say it thinks it sees, but it makes up a lot of what we see as well, so, you know. I just mean the way, like, you can, like, it's like how memories are oftentimes tied to scent really strongly, right? Mm-hmm. Like, certain things just link together for whatever reason, and your brain doesn't let go. And in my case, it just linked the animated soap with the cheese I was eating, and then decided, well, you're eating soap. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that's annoying as shit. Like, thanks. Brain, your brain is trolling you at that point. You're interesting to like, see if you can, like, you're eating soap. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if you could like make it do something, like eat something horrible but look at something good, and then like trick your brain, and it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, that horrible thing tastes really good. Well, it's like the same yeah. thing. You hold your nose while eating something that you don't like. And I was in somebody's stream, and they were talking about right that they get like um, they don't get what's the the. I'm, I'm going to forget words right now. It's the... Uh, Weird berries. The fruit... It's like a, it's like a fruit drink, but it's uh, very weak. <laughs> LaCroix. That's what I'm thinking of. LaCroix. Yeah, I don't know what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> and they were, uh, they were saying how they get, like, store brand LaCroix, and it's the equivalent of basically someone standing in the next room yelling a fruit at you. That's how... <laughs> That's how strong the flavor is. Oh, uh, I, I see a meme of uh, someone like rubbing or have a pineapple with a glass of water in front of it and blowing a fan on it and then take it, <laughs> mixing it. So, yeah, my thought was basically like if, if the flavor is that weak, like is there a way for you to just think of a fruit really hard and <laughs> your brain might be like, sure. It works. This is a raspberry now, yeah. Probably. Good job, guys. We just grew. Me. And growing. Yeah, I'm, I got taller or something. Yeah. Someone else want a hexstone? Oh, no, I got oh, miniature. I, I think it was I think it was a buck. It, yeah, no, that, <laughs> I, one, I agree. I think that was done naturally. That one was, of uh, the buffs makes you larger. And it's not a purple pill? Or a little blue pill? Someone, someone else has to <laughs> grab it. Uh, I got it. I grabbed it. I mean, I could use the first one. I could do that. Now, what am I supposed to do with it? And biggin! I keep forgetting to use my flashpoint with that. Whoops. Now I picked up the damage enhancement. I'll pick up more apples. No, I think it's the same amount of apples. All right, here's... Call me a liar. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's four. Are you, are you talking to me? <laughs> are you? Are you saying I made up that I ate a couple? There's a miracle berry that makes sour taste sweet. It's yes, there is. Sh- I have some it's sugar. No, no, it's a. Um, it is. It's called Miracle Berry. That's exactly what it's called. And it's a <laughs> like a tablet, and you put it on your tongue for for a bit. And then you start seeing like, colors. No, but like <laughs> it, like if you like bite into a lemon, it tastes really sweet. Instead of sour, it, it absolutely tricks your uh, your taste buds into thinking that sour things taste sweet. Mushroom based, huh? You high on the shrooms? <laughs> Drugs are bad. No, we, we tried it out a couple of times. I think we yeah, I think we still have some. It's um, it is pretty trippy. You have to be very careful because, like, you could just straight up eat a whole lemon. And be like, this is fine. And then your body's like, that was not fine. What the heck were you doing? What's wrong with eating a whole lemon? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like eating too much sour citrus simultaneously. It's not computing. Don't know what I'm talking about. I think I once had like a dozen grapefruits for breakfast. Oh, did you eat that many? <laughs> I really like grapefruits. Unfortunately, I like citrus. Oh, grapefruits. grapefruits nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I did. Yeah, exactly. That's what but I mean. I, like you have you have too it much. Wasn't, like my stomach, my stomach is fine. My stomach is a fucking tank, but my lips got burnt, like citrus burnt. Oh yeah, the chemical burn. 
Yeah, it was it was not cool. Like all yeah. that would still happen though, right? but instead it's like, oh, it's a sweet. <gasps> so it's like you don't you don't suspect it, and then you have way too much citrus. And when I do like shots of vodka, I like to do sh- oh, like we got um, we got a uh, what is this? It looks like a glass. I like to do um, shots of lemon juice concentrate with the vodka. It's cola. It's uh, it's Lacroix. <laughs> it's what is this? Something cola. Zagan cola. Zagan, yeah. It's like see through. Oh, and and there's like a sandwich or something on. It's a picnic. Turning, just turning it delicious. This is a nice picnic spot. It is. Yeah. I don't know why. The... Very, very nice. Why it's see through though? That's kind of weird. One time I had juice. It tasted like the color purple. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah, normally that's... experience color taste. I do not know what brand of juice it was, and I've never found it again. You're like, yes. It's like, is this grape? No. It's purple. It's the Isle of Apples. It's new. Sagan fruit essence. <laughs> LaCroix. A distant memory of fruit. Bye now. <laughs> what he was saying is that the store brand that he bought was even weaker than LaCroix's flavor. It like, sounds that... like the martinis that I had. On the on the cruise, that I went on, they were like, "Oh, these ones are fruity," and they put like an eyedropper of some <laughs> kind of fruit on the top of the martini, and like you sip it, and as soon as you sip, the 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 flavor is gone, and the next sip is just solid alcohol. You're like, "What happened to the flavor?" Oh, it was an eyedropper on top. That's what happened. Okay, You're like, oh, you didn't want that to stay, did you? Like every sip, what? Yeah, so the the martinis were just straight up, just, just booze in a glass. There was no fucking. Air. Did that stop me from finishing him? No, it did not. Of course not. <laughs> I I grabbed like eight straws, stuck the straws in the glass, and then sucked down the martini in about two seconds. Because I didn't want to taste that shit. Yeah, tap water would be much stronger. It definitely depends where you're getting your tap water from. You could get that fire water tap water where you turn on your tap and, like, the flames shoot out, <laughs> you know? The, the fracking, fracking oh, tap yeah. water. Oh, yeah. Like, mmm. Mixes with the natural gas a little too well. And we call that the Hudson. In Florida? No. <laughs> well, no, the Hudson River ca- caught on fire back in the 70s. Oh, yeah. And one in Chicago, too, right? I think one in Chicago was more... Yeah, flaming rivers. d is in PA. Like the death I'm in Jalad at Tanagra? You're saying things, but I don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> it's, it's the Dim Jabbar. Wave six. Two damage. Two damage. Going a little more than that on wave six. It's okay, I got you. Got you all. <laughs> I got it. Just, just, just hang out. Have a snack. A flaming meme place. I don't know what that is. Sounds interesting. Dimmick. The flaming. Oh, the flaming tap. Place that had the the flames shooting out, Dimmick, Dimmick, Pennsylvania. Okay, we got one more wave to go. Envoys of Apollon. Now you're getting it. I'll heal up our Hagstone in the northeast. I'm in the southwest of Pennsylvania, so that does mean randomizing okay. enemy waiting. Northeast would be close to Mikey, though, right? It's, that'd be relatively close to me. Yeah. Yeah. You were just in. Um, uh, that one somewhere, place. Somewhere in Pennsylvania. Oh, this cent- past weekend. Centralia. Yeah, Centralia. It's the uh, perpetual burning mine of hell. So we were in we were in Levittown. That's where we were. Good old Levittown, PA, where we almost saw a fight at the Dunkin' Donuts. Almost. What a oh, gypped. you got, yeah, you got gypped. <laughs> you gotta go to. Um, I don't know if they have any of the the Waffle Hut. No, Waffle House. Uh, we don't have those up here. Uh, Denny's? No, no. Denny's, it's like kindergarten for fights. Not in California, it's not. <laughs> California. California, that's dinner and a show. No. If the Waffle House closes, that means it's the end times. Hurricanes, think, floods, least, fires, right, whatever. At least where I was in California, that was essentially the Waffle House. You know what I mean? Like, there wasn't. Mm-hmm. Denny's was that in that area. 3 a.m. Denny's, yeah. Dude, it, where, where I was, not it didn't have to be 3 a.m. either. <laughs> It'd be like fucking 7 o'clock on a weekday or some shit. 
people are losing their goddamn minds. People got shot in front of our Walmart. Oh, Walmart, yeah. They just went I inside think... first and bought the gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we all grew from the from the buff. That's what she said. Somebody set our Walmart Maybe. on fire. They burned the garden section. That seems pretty specific. Got more apples. Yeah, Ooh, this one over here. That was our tenth wave. Yay! Ten waves. Ten some waves. Loot. Have some apples. Loot. 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 The loot. The warrant. The loot. The uh. loot. The loot is on fire. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I can only take from the from the bigger chest here only once a day. Yes. I don't have space. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Um, that's what happens when your inventory is full. Oh, I see. I kept picking up us lots of belts, and diffusion, all that together. Oh, uh, what do we have here? Spoils. <laughs> there's a, there's an apple on the uh, the chest. Gosh darn you! And both of them. <laughs> are these are these regular apples or road apples? Road apples. Well, you don't want road apples. Wait, hold on. Stay, stay there. Inadvertently, uh, uh, left. <gasps> Yeah, I'm not sure that even you can actually meet back up. Unable to meet up. All right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Indeed. Yeah, you, you left a group. Why? There's more apples. There's like, wait, there's a bunch more apples. Holy shit. I thought I was clicking on the, the thing and instead I was leaving. They're multiplying right in front of my eyes. Like a circle? Yeah. A circle of apples around the exit. That We're means we, we can't leave. We can't break the circle. Dev witchcraft. <laughs> I can't get through. Now, are these like the apples that they look all in, sweet and innocent, and then they start eating you? Has that, has that happened to you before? <laughs> what? You haven't had that happen? Apples? What is this? Little shop? Little shop of apples. Oh, man. I saw a great clip of... um um. Like like Elden Elden Ring like reactions, to okay. Stuff. And this this girl was playing. And she comes across this area of grass. She's like, are those penguins? Because it's like it looks like these little like white and black things. And, okay. and and then all of a sudden it pops out of the ground because it was the fingertips of a giant severed hand buried in the ground. <laughs> okay. And it kind because they're like pale white with the As black nails. It yeah. kind of looked from a distance in the grass like a little like a line of little penguins. And instead, it's just like jumps out and like they like lost their shit. It was hilarious. So the, you're thinking about the apples, you know, turning into something like on the ground. Just made me think of that. It was it was pretty hilarious. Be like, oh, suddenly, yeah, suddenly, little penguin. No, gosh, why? See, I I, I blame I blame George like the R. Dark Martin. Souls games. I blame the Dark Souls games for like like me just not having. A soul anymore when it comes to like horror shit. Like I just don't. Oh, it has like fifteen heads and like it's coming out of its fine. eye socket. Like yeah, whatever. Okay, but it's but fine. But when do I need a dodge roll? That's what I want to know. <laughs> like, like it doesn't. I was thinking about it when I was when I was playing that game, and I was like, God damn, like nine. Like I'm not saying nothing ever gets me, but if something gets me, it's just because I I didn't see something coming, not because of the thing itself. Yeah, yeah. It could have been a circle of cardboard if it just jumps out of nowhere. Like, you know, that sudden movement freaks me out. But it doesn't matter that it's, like, a creepy-looking thing. That doesn't phase me, like, at all anymore. It's true. It's true. Yeah, the the older I get, the more it's like, yeah, it's like, this is supposed to scare you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, okay. But, like, I go to open up a cabinet and something falls out at me and I'm like, ah! <laughs> it's the motion. Yeah. To me, it's the motion. I try to catch it. I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's how I put a mark in my head last week. <laughs> something fell, something out, of fell the out of the cabinet at you? And I, and I think I tried to, like, catch it or something and I put my head forward and just slammed it into the open cabinet corner and it, oh. gashed, my, it gashed my forehead. Like, I mean, really hard. Like, my head did not think an object was in the way, so it therefore tried to proceed like there was none in the way. It was like, yeah, you're fine. You're okay. Hey, there's a message. It says hi. Oh, it's just left. Oh, no. <laughs> Waffles out here with me. 
<laughs> no. Who Hi. is it? I, I'm always curious which dev. Which dev is it that's watching us? Speak to me through your. Yeah, place your hand on the apple. BG Apple. <laughs> that's that's pretty great. It's like Secret World fan, uh, Phantasmin. I wonder. I wonder if I can look. I know I can do like a look up command. I think. <laughs> is it is my it... message? <laughs> It's Apple. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can get a, a picture. Oh yeah, Apple, of me. Apple iMessage. That's the joke. I gotcha. Tim Apple. Oh, I need to see. What are you doing? Wait, what? 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 Huh? What? Okay, I'm gonna see if I can grab that screenshot. Okay. Uh, yeah, do it. I'll throw it in the Discord. Uno momento, poor, poor favor, fair gas, Fergus. Name is Fergus. All right, there, there you go. Oh, I see it. You gotta like probably zoom in. Yeah, a little bit on the waffle. <laughs> no, on the apple, not the waffle. I meant you, the waffle. <laughs> zoom in on the apple. <laughs> God damn it! And me doing it, it's sort of sort of pointless. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get a shot and have the character looking up. So I did the slash look up. Try to get the timing right. It work? That's hilarious. Hi. In apples. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing. I didn't even realize you got, like, that uh, waffle had left. Glint in my rabbity eyes. He, he joined me in accidentally leaving. It screams murder. You know, maybe. Maybe it's a little bit. Now the apples have commenced with communicating. Now they're going to commence with the murdering. Yeah, so it told me I need defeated bodies. So the apples have said I must give them. <laughs> the apples have spoken. Fuel. <laughs> you know, you got to plant an apple tree and feed it bodies. For minting. <laughs> I mean, that just makes sense. Come on. What else What else do you feed them? Obviously. You have to feed it whatever it whispers you silently in the night. It's like the. the uh, like <laughs> First the last, contact. It's like the last couple episodes of It's Always Sunny. The last season that just happened. Okay. They're like in um, Ireland, and they go to a castle, and he's got COVID, but he won't admit he has COVID. And okay. He's fucking Looney Tunes, and the castle's talking to him, and he's like, it wants him to murder somebody because <laughs> the castle has a murder hole. Because you know they built castles with things like murder holes. They did. So, like he's like, <laughs> he's trying to he's trying to kill kill his sister but but he's too he's too sick and out of it like he just passes out just like, when you th when you say it with like no context it sounds way worse and less funny <laughs> than the show is you're like but it's but it's always sunny so yeah it's, it's always funny. sunny so it's yeah. it's fucking hilarious i'm not supposed the gang is up to a murder oh there was a great episode where where they did like a like a mockumentary style it was it was called like making Dennis a murderer or something, because his his ex wife died, and they were like, the way they shot it was like one of those you know murder porn shows, you know, mm -hmm. where it's, it's all like interviews and and stuff. And uh, that was the great part where like the detectives like something's wrong with him like. He seemed nice and affable, and you leave. You leave the room, and then he just stares straight ahead. Like his <laughs> his his like normal face goes away, and it's just dead. And he doesn't blink or move for the, like the next thirty minutes until someone enters the room. <laughs> it's just this tape of him just being like, "It's amazing." Um, yeah. Anyways. Anyway. I don't know. What do we got? Oh. Something else we wanted to point out, uh, in Medias Res has been making more lore YouTube videos. The wanted to point said. out some of those. Specifically, they made some since our last uh, since our last show. They made one for the dragon, and they made one for Druids of Avalon. Dragon one was was really good. I really like that one. But has he done the right from? Have you done the apple lore yet? <laughs> the apple lore. Yeah. Oh. The secret lore of the apples. Heck yeah. So, yeah. Might as well point them out, because right, Refim is, is here with us. 
little known uh, cabal of Apple. Refam. The Apple Dumpling Gang. Oh. <laughs> I might have to rename my cabal. My guys. The I'm League of Extraordinary up. Apple Eaters. Or the Apple Dumpling. That's like a really old movie now. I think it was like like an old-ish movie. Like when I was a kid, it's definitely fucking ancient now. No, no one's no one's seen that. Oh, I yeah, I absolutely have not. Nineteen, no, nineteen seventy nine was the Apple Dumpling Gang rides again. It was original yeah. was nineteen seventy five. I've seen original both. yeah nineteen seventy five. Don Knotts. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Floating Apple, hold on. Where floating Apple? Are you still in the uh, instance? Yes, I'm still in the instance. And the apple just floated by and is hanging in midair. Okay, we gotta get a picture of me and the apple. Well, I don't know about apple specifically, but next week we're going to Stonehenge. You heard it here first. Nice. Watch out. The apples have become self-aware. We, it, you have to um, show Jimmy's screen because he's actually got the interesting stuff going on because we left. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You have to get a screen share going on. I uh, I took a picture with the with the apple. <laughs> it's just hanging out in the air. Nice. Now you gotta do is crop this down and put "I want to believe." But in like you an can apple hang out font? with apples too. See, this is why they don't want you to bring apples to Stonehenge. It, wait, do they not want you to bring apples to Stonehenge? Yeah, you don't bring fruit. This is what happens. <laughs> Never heard that before. Just I mean, floating. I know that you don't bring fruit like into California. I didn't remember. I didn't know about Stonehenge. Yeah, say it's just, it's just hanging out. Yeah, to drive up to Stonehenge is the big sign that says, "Warning: No fruit allowed." Fruit so, trespassers. So, you did the you did the Druids of Avalon, and so next week you're going to be doing the Stonehenge simulation. It's the the fake Stonehenge. No, well, this is the real Stonehenge. The PvP one's the fake Stonehenge. Or is it? I mean, technically, this is a scenario, but this is supposed to be the real. It's supposed to be the real stone of the real Stonehenge. Yes, and the PvP one is the fucking like styrofoam one for the masses. Yeah, everything is true. I mean, I mean, did you play in that one? I mean, it was clearly too small. Odie is the one on Avalon, right? Which is the real one. The other one is is like a like a. Replica. It's it's supposed to, like, you know, so things go for that one instead of the one in Avalon. It says uh, in the Stonehenge simulation lore, it says the Stonehenge of the virtual scenario is a simulation, but the Circle of Stones contains another secret, sweetling. The Stonehenge standing in Wiltshire is a simulation also. It is a decoy, a bit of chicanery, a fake. 5,000 years ago, the stones were planted in a grandiose game of sleight of hand. Look here, not there. A millennia spanning long con that has nearly run its course. The real Stonehenge stands on Avalon, the legended island whose location has been kept secret by the druids. The real Stonehenge is a massive focusing lens, gathering immense power from the ley lines. That power, among other things, fuels the Hagstone, and the Hagstone cloaks Avalon and Stonehenge from the world at large. Anything about apples in there? Um, Very next part. Apples are, and apples and apples. They're the seed of evil, right? <laughs> Wait, what, wasn't the apple from the, the tree? The knowledge of good and evil? Yes, yeah. I mean, clearly, And also, apples keep doctors away. Yeah, but that's just because you hit him really good in the nose with one. <laughs> you throw an apple at one and they say, just, don't come back here. <laughs> you just, you just you huck get it. Out of, really get out of my good. office. Yeah. The druids of Avalon mentions apples? Does it really? We have must <laughs> fear <laughs> gas. What do you say? The Isle of Apples. <laughs> oh, right. Actually, yeah, because it, uh, I... it's a distraction. Suddenly, oranges. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it was in their announcement this year. The Secret World uh, Twitter mm -hmm. had the um, had like a different picture about something about the Isle of Apples. You go look at it. They have like a to the internets. To the interwebs. Set sail, the vast Gmates. Search Twitter for apples. I think, right? Maybe not. Maybe I'm just. Mm. Oh no, there was a snake picture. 
No. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a snake picture, but not. A, I thought there was an apple one. I'm. I'm just. I'm just. You're fucking, just. You're just making it up now. Uh huh. I'm not making it up. This is I how conspiracies start. We start. There's, 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 there's between being delusional and making things up. Okay. That's uh, fair. It's fair. Everyone put on those tinfoil. If I'm delusional, there are things I think are real. <laughs> I was like, I was like, was there apples? Let me go back and take a look. No, I was thinking of the snake picture. Oh, okay. That's all. For Which they put up for. Was blessed um, all snakes day. All snakes day. But that was like the day after the equinox, like literally May March seventeenth. Yeah, and equinox is March sixteenth. So, so there's a distinct lack of snakes with these apples. Is all I'm saying. I know this game has snakes in it. All Snakes Day, the pagan St. Patrick's Day celebration. Aha! Uh-huh. We got our first. We have Stonehenge and Apple Books. You're finding the connection. <laughs> finding the connection. It's all coming together now. <laughs> apples. Applesauce, the apples are also bitch. a distraction. Suddenly, oranges. No, apple, applesauce, bitch. That's what you gotta say. That's what I learned from that movie. Sometimes snakes are really druids. There's this... Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Spoilers for not a secret world game. The Owen spoilers. Mute now. There's a snake girl, and she looks normal. And then, like, you catch, like, you go visit her at a certain point, and she, like, forgot to keep her mirage up, and she's a snake. She's like, whoops. Sorry. And then she talks to you like normal, but she's a snake. Like, a snake person thing. It's very strange. And then she pointed out to her, like, um... Yeah, she's like, oh, shit, my bad. Ah, yeah, yeah, so are we going to discuss this? Just And then she's like, okay, because with you because you didn't freak out about it. But, yeah, she just sort of she just sort of forgot. And then, like, it's at some point, at some point, like, you're, you're, you, she asks you to kill her. Um, and if you do that, she's in human form, right? You kill her. You're like, okay, she's dead. <laughs> and I went into some other stuff and came to some other area. And she was somewhere else alive as a snake version of herself. And I was like, what the hell? But she wouldn't talk. So then I killed the snake version because I was like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> when in doubt, smack it with a snake. Yeah, be like, I don't know what's going on with this thing, so I'm just going to kill it. Yeah. Apples. Yeah, that's pretty good. But the letters should be red because they're apples. Because they're apples. Yeah. And maybe in like a bubble font. I mean, even like that's fine, but it just should be red. Okay, uh, yeah. Was that is that like Comic Sans? Or yep. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. I know, like, was it everyone? Everyone mocks Comic Sans, and then what was it? It was like, um, it was like the discovery of the Higgs boson particle that came out of CERN, and you know, basically one of the whole reasons they built the um the large atom smashers in the first place was basically to find all these new particles and like they they discovered the higgs boson particle and it was like a major scientific breakthrough and uh in but when they announced it to the world and like the big presentation they had the entire presentation was in comic sans (laughs) and it was like these top scientists in the world and they're like yep we did that Everything's in Comic Sans. They like it. It's comforting. Yeah. If you were going to read, like, The World Ends Tomorrow, you'd want it to be in Comic Sans. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're like, like right. they're like scientifically, they're like, it's easy to read. Everyone loves it. Yeah. It looks, Who doesn't like Comic Sans? It looks kind of like normal writing. It's pretty legible. <laughs> it's like, it got rounded edges that are, like, soft. You know? It's not sharp and angular. It's not. It's not going to stab you. Pretty sure that's what it was. Let me just verify that. Okay. Yes, July fourth, two thousand twelve. CERN scientists inexplicably present Higgs boson findings in Comic Sans. What do you mean inexplicably? They knew what they were doing. We were blown away by the fact that a team made up of some of the most undoubtedly brilliant people in the world believe that Comic Sans is, a, is an appropriate font for such a historic occasion. It absolutely is. They're like, not only because people would uh, recognize it, they'd also sort of flip out about it. And that's how you get the publicity. I have an update for you. What's up? There you go. Just raising above your, just. (laughs) Do you see it? I see the apple. Uh Uh-huh. And? Oh, there's also a snake in there, too. (laughs) 
There you go. There's you a snake. Make out the snake. There's a snake. It's moving too, by the way. It's not just static. It's like moving around. I, I feel like you need to share your screen. I feel like you. I I left accidentally. I was like, no, I thought I was clicking on the wrong thing. Yeah, but Waffle left on purpose. <laughs> but he left on purpose. Yeah, I, I, I shared it. See if that works. Do not feed corn to the danger noodle. Maybe Apple so. I think you're still on the browser screen or something. It's better in the picture than you can there, sadly. Because, yeah, it's not... Uh... That's not really working. Working well. Oh, let me see. Let me see if I can... Um... View zoom in. <laughs> Turn on the flashlight. Yeah, there you go. Just chilling. <laughs> Just moving around, you know, being chill. Just, you know, being a steak, you know. There's the, the apples. Undulation. It's like we have a nature preserve near us, and occasionally we'll go for walks in there. And, yeah, one time we're just walking along and, you know, just a very nice day, you know, relaxing. All of a sudden a giant, like, eight-foot black snake just just sort of, like, it's coming right towards us. And we're like, and we're just going to get out of the way. And there it goes. Got high. Got, got, got LaCroix. Before. LaCroix still over there. You got a Zagan Cola. <laughs> it's a very see-through Zagan Cola. Zagan LaCroix. Our Tell apple me. and our snake. That's a good shot right there. <laughs> the apple, the snake. The apple, the snake. High, sort of in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crystal Zagan. The not-so-popular spinoff. Yeah. People just couldn't get used to it. Oh, Crystal Pepsi was pretty good when it came out. Blasphemy. Oh, it was good. And who who can who, who can't go wrong when you got what well, was Van Halen commercials like? What year did it come out? Oh, nineties, mid nineties. I want to say I tried it. Oh, it was good. Discontinued nineteen ninety four. Introduced nineteen ninety two. That did not last long at all. No. <laughs> Still better than new bingo. <laughs> Just wait till the soda war. Mountain Dew wins the Soda Awards. Yeah, then all the restaurants are Taco Bell. Yes. <laughs> then they have Baja Blast, see? Mountain Dew won, I told you. <laughs> what did I just have? I had a Mountain Dew that was like um, pink lemonade. It was pink lemonade Mountain Dew. Was it like the Spark one? Yes. Yeah, I have some of that in the fridge. That's actually pretty good. It's not bad, yeah. I still prefer like regular... Uh, but if I'm going to have a, a different one, a Baja Blast is amazing. Baja Blast is really good. Um, my wife really loves uh, Code Red. I can't do Code Red so much anymore. Uh, I drank too much of it when I was having, like, pain issues. That's and fair. So, like, it's, it's sort of tied to it. And Although, again, I will, I will say, yeah, I will say I did discover something really interesting about Code Red. If you have Code Red okay. and Captain Morgan Spice Rum together, oh, okay. The aftertaste is eggnog. I don't know why, <laughs> but oh no, oh no, I may have to try that now. So like, okay, all I had at the time was Code Red in the fridge. Someone okay. came over to visit. This, I was, like, renting a room at this place. Someone came over to visit with, like, a handle of spiced rum. They were going to go somewhere. And they just left it. And then, and left. So we had this, like, free handle Captain Morgan's rum. Like, what are we going to mix it with? It was like, well, I have cold red. <laughs> so, like, yeah, all right, fuck it. Whatever. All right, yeah, you know? let's do it. We mix it together. And, like, it takes a sip. Like, what is that taste? It's like, when you drink it, that's one thing, right? But the, the lingering taste in your mouth afterwards is sometimes kind of different. Yeah. I was like, what the, what is that? And it took me a minute to nail it down. It's, it's eggnog. It's the same aftertaste of like, you just drink like some eggnog. <laughs> I was like, how the fuck is that? But it is, it just is. Interesting. So, you know, if you ever want an eggnog aftertaste drink, uh, code red. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, listen, when, sure. uh, when the holidays start rolling around, Eggnog is my jam. I, I I will go through like at least six, maybe seven half gallons of eggnog. I only I do I have like a Christmas Eve tradition, and it's uh it's a glass of like 
uh, half eggnog. Half- Interesting. Okay. It's got to be Seven Up. It can't be Sprite. It's very specific. <laughs> uh, Seven Up has a certain like um, I don't know thing to it. It cuts the eggnog pretty nicely. Because okay. when I was a kid, eggnog was just a little too much for me, and so my dad would like for like a Christmas Eve tradition would have eggnog, and he would cut my own Seven Up. So I've now kept ah. that tradition okay. uh, alive. On Christmas Eve, I'll have eggnog and Seven Up. It's like a thing. Interesting. But it's it's actually really good. Like if you have someone that like isn't into eggnog, it's like a little too eggy or a little too f- maybe foamy. Yeah. It, if you just cut it with some seven up it's actually really good and the seven up something about the particular lemon limey of the seven up it's different than mountain dew it's different than sprite so i think about the seven up with eggnog is pretty good interesting ceruliana says i can never drink vanilla coke because it tasted exactly like coke and spiced rum i could 100 percent see that that would make me want to drink it more than not i was gonna say it, but... <laughs> i was gonna say coke and spice rum I mean, that sounds delicious. Chemistry doesn't care about your expectations. Things are going to get weird. It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, I know like Mountain Dew has like vegetable oil in it. I can only imagine that's what's interacting with the spiced rum and somehow causing the eggnoggy aftertaste. Maybe. Is the oils potentially? Like I said, but I'd like me some eggnog, so I will have to, like, I'm not afraid of an eggnog aftertaste, so I will have to try it out. Yeah. Yeah, it was, just, it was just weird. Like, it was one of those things where I, I'm pretty good at identifying flavors. Like, my, my brother would do this thing where he would, like, like there's this uh, place near us that was, like a, like, a butcher shop or something, but they had beers, and they were, like, all independent, like, just random, random beers, like, like beef jerky beer, like, just, just random okay. yeah, bullshit, yeah. like, small beers. And so, like, every so often they'd go get one and or or like a six pack with a, like a, with like two of each of a, some random type from random flavors would, yeah and they would try them and one time he called me up he's like you have to come over here we can't figure out what this tastes like i'm warning you <laughs> it's horrible <laughs> it's awful but none of us can place exactly what it is but you have to try it yeah and tell so, us what it is he was like because because i can identify or at least say like what it's like pretty well Okay. So and he knows that, so he's like, "You gotta come, like, try this, even though it's awful, and tell us what the hell it is, because none of us can place it. It's just fucking awful." Um. So I go over there. I'm like, "All right." And I'm not actually not a beer drinker either. I usually have to be like shit faced to drink beer, but I'm, I'm like, "Okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot." I try it, and it was god awful. <laughs> You're like, they were. And lying. I'm like, "Hold on." I'm it like, was terrible. I'm like, "Okay, this tastes exactly." Like wet dog food smells, and they were like, "Yes, that's it." You nailed. It. it was like, for whatever reason, like, I, I have a pretty bingo. I have a pretty good grasp on like nailing what something tastes like. Okay, you know? even if I don't like it or whatever. And so yeah, the, and as soon as I said that, everyone was like on board. They're like, "Yeah, no, that's exactly what it tastes like." Oh, oh, oh. It, like you ever open a can of wet dog food to feed your dog? And it yeah, just yeah, yeah. Smells god awful. That's what that mm-hmm. beer tasted like. That's exactly what it tasted like. Hey, bingo beer. <laughs> like mama used to make. Uh, no, in one of my, uh, coming back to the vanilla Coke, in one of my uh, famous stories of where um, 21st birthday, road trip to Canada, um, road roads closed and trying to make our way back into the U.S. was quite a whatever. We So we tried um, driving back from like, yeah, Canada to New York City in, like, just overnight. Like, starting at, like, 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night and trying to, like, make our way. And so we had to, like, go around one of the Great Lakes and come into Vermont. And by the time we crossed the border there, they were really suspicious of us, made us all get out of the car and blah, 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 blah. So <clears throat> so we were coming back, and my friend, he's like, I need to, he's like, I need to wake myself up. So he stopped at like uh, um, when, he, when he stopped to get gas. When we we're finally in the U.S., stopped to get gas in like upstate New York, and he got a vanilla Coke and a Venom energy drink, and he he and he downed them like in seconds. And he was like, "All right, I'm good to go." And then we we started the trip back, and he was driving, and uh, uh, we all kind of passed out 
And at one point we wake up and he is just straight up hallucinating. Like car is stopped I... in the middle of the road. <laughs> I think I think I've heard this one before. Mm-hmm. No, you have heard this one. Yeah. before. Yeah. Okay. I've I've told it before, uh, but the whole reason is yeah, coming back to the vanilla coke is that's yeah that vanilla coke always reminds me of that now. Yeah. yeah vanilla vanilla coke sense. and venom energy drink makes you yeah. hallucinate, but only if you also are extremely sleep deprived. So you know, <laughs> sleep deprivation is fucking crazy, dude. Like I swear to God, that's way more dangerous than like, uh. You know, like I mean, don't get me it's, wrong. It's like, bad. Drunk, yeah, drunk driving is not good or anything. Mm-mm. You know, or like buzz driving. But by the way, bullshit. Buzz driving is not the same as drunk driving. Like, I understand they're both illegal, but they are not anywhere near the same. But sleep deprived driving can be fucking worse. It's even worse. Like, yeah, it's like it can one hundred percent be and like worse than either of those. Mm-hmm. With the weird caveat that, like, you don't get in trouble for it. <laughs> like, you don't you don't get, like, a DUI for, right. for being Right, they're like, tired. oh, you're driving tired? Oh, welcome to the world. We all drive tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, that's not, it's not a thing. But, like, holy shit, like, it, it can be easily even more dangerous. <laughs> time, to, mm, time to try. Noted. Yeah, good luck finding the Venom Energy drink, though. That's the... <laughs> Yeah, that would be the hard one. That is the hard one to find now. Like, I, I know, like, uh, I had a my uh, sister-in-law, like, she rolled her car because yeah. she was on her way to work in California, and it was, like, um, like an hour 45 trip, like, in the morning, and, and you know, she had, she had to be at work at, like, uh, or, or not work. I think it was school, actually. She was going to a, to a specific school, and it was, like, hour 45 two hours away she had to leave at like four or five in the morning and she was never getting any sleep and like um and yeah she straight up just rolled the car mm. just fell asleep and rolled the car i mean mm. luckily she didn't like injure anyone else you know um driving while impaired is a general legal term yeah 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 i guess that's probably true i just saying like you don't see it like i guess probably if they had hit somebody other than themselves, maybe that would have applied, you know? But, like, I feel like more often than not, like, it, like, look, if you're drunk and put yourself in a ditch and they find you, you're getting a DUI. Mm-hmm. Well, it's also, you know it's, I mean? it's easier to, uh, like, take your, take your blood or your, yeah, any kind of sample for, for... If, if you were sleepy or not yeah. after you've been in the accident. Yeah, because by that time you're like fully awake. You're like, holy crap! You can drill in this yeah. going. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it is harder to prove that. I guess that would be a, an issue. But yeah, it is, it is crazy. Like that shit's crazy. That is uh, single car accidents don't have to be reported the same. True. I mean, true. But I'm just saying, if like they show up and you're drunk in your single car accident, they're probably taking you in just because you're drunk, right? Like that's probably happening. It doesn't oh, happen yeah. if if you were. If you had the accident because you were asleep. Um, what we're saying, folks, is don't drive drunk. Yeah. And also, don't drive sleep-deprived. Yeah. They're both bad. I mean, ty- like, everyone's tired. But there's a difference between tired and, like, straight up, like, there's... I haven't <laughs> slept in two days, but I'm going to drive anyway. Yeah, there's, there's a difference between being tired and, and hallucinating from lack of sleep. Yeah, because I've been there, and it's yeah. disconcerting. As the person hallucinating is disconcerting. Mostly the amount of time it takes you to realize that what you're seeing isn't real. You're like, holy shit, that that took me way too long to figure yeah, out. Yeah, what, what you're seeing and what you're hearing is not actually there and is not real. It's like, yeah, you're like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. Your brain's not firing on all cylinders. No. No. No, it's just, it's just firing. Random neurons. It's just, it's just firing <laughs> randomly, yeah. You're like, what? Huh? Who? It's, it, it circles back to the uh, the nature of reality itself and how that's basically all based on our perception. And a lot of our perception is our brain just sort of just makes up. Yeah. There's a, there, there are certain like perception it levels. Feels, like, it fills in the gaps. Yeah. Like it, one, of the, one of the ones that always blows my mind is if you, if you touch something, like if you touch like a surface, you feel it instantly. Mm-hmm. But it is not instant. 
there is a delay in between when you feel something and like your your nerve endings traveling up your arm goes into your brain processing set you know there's a there is actually a delay there of it's it's not a long delay it's like maybe um you know like it's like a tenth of a second or so but there is actually a delay there but our brains sort of push that delay yeah and actually make that delay like seem instantaneous when it's actually not instantaneous so yeah, it's sort of like good, a it's sort of like a brain time delay we've got good network code <laughs> for, for pvp yeah that uh reference said take a nap on the shoulder if you must i've done it yeah i've done oh, that yeah, too yeah, i yeah, straight up pulled it. over and been like i'm going to sleep um like i'm gonna crash out for for a minute because i need i need something i needed my eyes need to close I've done way too many, like, 2,000-mile trips over the course of, like, a couple days. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm heavily experienced with, uh, with knowing when to and do that. Twitter, does that stand for the 127th Annual Upper Class Twit of the Year Contest? Uh, may, may, maybe? Sure. That's a... Why 127? Sure. Though? And can't there be lower class or middle class twits? I mean, that like, also implies that Twitter's been around for 127 years, so, you know. Well, annual doesn't necessarily mean year, I guess. Does it? Does, it, does annual indicate year? I Maybe assume so, yeah. Variance smoothing perception filter, according to Monty Python. That's fair. I mean, if it's according to Monty Python, we're just going to have to take it at face value. It's true. Because it is merely a flesh wound. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. Listen, strange women lying in ponds distributing sword is not a basis for a system of government. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> Supreme executive power derives from a mandate from the masses, not from some fantastical aquatic ceremony. I mean, Tis a what is silly how place. many of them there are? What if there's a, I mean, there's a lot of ponds. That could be a pretty large percentage. <clears throat> If I went around saying I was emperor because some moistened pink had thrown a scimitar at me, they'd put me away. <laughs> <laughs> moistened. It's one of my favorites. I absolutely I love. I think if there is a woman giving away a sword in every pond, in every <laughs> pond, I think that could be a majority vote. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> it could be a basis for a system of government. <laughs> yeah, I think it could. Be. I'm just I'm throwing it out there. Throwing it out there. If it's every pond, there's a lot of fucking ponds. Two, two of my yeah two of my favorite Monty Python sketches I think are uh, um, yeah f- um, constitutional peasants from yeah from Monty Python and Search for the Holy Grail and the second one is, is it like uh, philosopher football <laughs> where it's just philosophers on a field playing football it's so it's so weird. I like. I still liked it. I like. She turns. I, wa- I watched that movie so much. I have most of it memorized. How how many swords do you have? See, I think that's a system that can work. That's kind of like how armies work. Oh, how many do you have? <laughs> well, how, yeah, how many? How many is a few? Your I thought we extra. were an autonomous commune. And your father smelt of elderberry. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, how do you think he got with a hamster? It was the elderberry. That just that that just explains itself right there. I'm not dead yet. Oh, you will be. I really like the the dead parrot sketch. I think that one's really dead fun. parrots. Classic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. This parrot is no more. Spam. Spam is also a good spam, one. Spam. 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 Oh, uh, lumberjack. Doing baked beans. Oh yeah, lumberjack is really good too. Can I get? I like I like, spam, I like spam, 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 spam because it it makes me think of like email spam. Yeah. Pining for the fjords. Pining for the fjords. Ah, so good. Yeah, I see all the apples are gone. Well, except for those. I mean, the high is gone, but the floating one... The, the floating one's gone and the high is gone, but... Listen, apples don't last forever. That's what we're saying. But the rest are there and the snake is still there. If you're going to take away anything from tonight's episode, that's that's the that's the main takeaway. Apples don't last forever. <laughs> Apples and snakes? Snakes and apples? Snakes last forever. No. No, I killed the snake. <laughs> I killed the snake god. That's what Twice, she said. 
Because after the first time, he pulled a sword out of his mouth and decided to come at me with it. Well, that's not a very convenient place to put it. There's some weird bosses. um, (laughs) Giant snakes that have set second heads that pull swords out of their first head. I'm just saying. I did see a a GIF of uh, someone modding Elden Ring. And they modded themselves as... So their player character was basically Homer Simpson... (laughs) <laughs> and one of the bosses they were fighting was Shrek riding donkey. Nice. Nice. Oh, I saw that one. <laughs> you saw that too? Yeah. Your, your mother's Irish and your father was a drunk. They're like, <laughs> it's, it's on PC. Once you start modding it, it's all, it's whatever. Just whatever. Whatever you want. Dude, even basically. without modding, it's fucking ridiculous. I was watching like reaction videos. They're so hilarious. So hilarious. People that just don't, like, have never played a Souls game and don't know to expect insane, crazy, weird Japanese horror shit. People physically freak out. People try and dodge in their chairs. (laughs) You're, like, wondering, you're you're partially wondering, you're like, what games have these people played? Are these straight up broke? Like, saw someone break a light fixture? I mean, okay, to be fair... They thought they were going to go fight a couple of, like, random scrubs, and then a dragon the size of, like, the fucking skyscraper flies in and lands on top of them. So, like, I get how that is just, like, you know, not what you were expecting, but I also didn't expect the level of shrieking and flailing <laughs> <laughs> that has ah! been accompanied with it. Like, physical flailing, like, they broke, like, they broke a light fixture, like, next to them. Shrek will wreck them. You t- don't you mean Shrek them? Shrek me, Shrek them. You'll Shrek them. Shrek them good. Ho ho. Get Shrek. Ho ho. Shrek them. Damn dear. I brought that back all the way from. Yeah, pre-show. all the way around. That was that was like pre-show. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, on that note. On the, on the Shrek them note, is that we're going? On the, on the Shrek them <laughs> note. <laughs> Shrek them. Damn near killed him. Shrek them. You bought him. I brought them. Oh, yes. Well, I guess I could have bought them and... Bought them. <laughs> For some reason, my mind put it into, like, break it, you bought it. Ah, oh, I see. I see. You could bring them and buy them. Buy them <laughs> and bring them, I suppose. Now, how you Shrek them, I don't fucking know. Do you paint them green? <laughs> Figure that out first, yeah. I think you paint them green. Give it a nice comparison to uh, parfaits. Parfaits are delicious. You paint them green and put delicious. a little donkey next to them? Is that how you do that? I'm down for that. Oh, I found. <laughs> Take them to your swamp and then yell at them to leave. <laughs> Get out of my swamp. Anyway. <laughs> oh. This this so, this was sorry. I like that he rubbed the thing on the outside of his eyes. <laughs> yes. Blowing a blowing a fan behind a pineapple. Oh, that was a fan. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Just opening a thing of blueberries. <laughs> I didn't get that one. What was that? It's a lime. It was a lime. It was a lime. Oh. They call it the live calling. The lime calling on the cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fucking awesome. That was really good. Not to really mess on people who who enjoy Lacroix. Oh, I enjoy it too. But it's just, it's yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's just it it is yeah. I I think when it like when it first started becoming popular, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy a case and see what it's like. So I bought a case, and I'm I'm pretty sure the case is still over there. Because I'm, I'm because I'm just not a fan of uh, seltzer. Mix it with something. Yeah. So I tried one. And I was like, ah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It says passion fruit. Really? Yeah. But you can taste the passion fruit. <laughs> mm. You can taste no. What they meant was passion for fruit. They're like, this you will can... give you a passion to actually have fruit. <laughs> They're like, man, Sometimes... I wish I had fruit so badly. <laughs> that that's that's illegal in some states. <laughs> <laughs> man, I wish I had some fruit to go with this. <laughs> so much. Oh, not the Lacroix. No, I was trying to find out. Like, I gotta find out. I remember where I saw it today. <laughs> I was like, oh, but no, that, yeah, but that's no, that's no, the no. joke. Is is if you go into the brain perception thing, rolling it, pulling it all back together, um, is right. If you if you're drinking if you're drinking a uh, Lacroix or even weaker, whatever one of their competitors is, uh, and you just think really hard or like look at another piece of fruit can you actually change the taste i mean technically if it's close enough to smell you will change the taste 
because smell is like the ma- large majority of your actual taste. So, so like, if you like cut an orange in front of you, yeah, even if you didn't, even if you didn't cut it, you just like smelled an orange close to you. It probably would. And then you uh, like took a drink of like I don't yeah, know, lime. Yeah, you, well, you'd have orange lime, but it would be better <laughs> if it was like you know you you smelled a lime and drank the lime one. It would be limeier. It would, right. It would be lime. Well, at that point, it, I just put the lime British, in the drink. <laughs> almost British, even. That's how limey it would be. <laughs> so limey. <laughs> I really reached for that one. That was a little bit. <laughs> I got it though. I got it though. Exhausted. Good night and good luck proving the apple conspiracy. Proving the actual <laughs> apple conspiracy. Whoever it is. The apple said hi. We're not. We're not just going to assume that it's Andy. But, you know. Right. Refum, I'm I'm assuming the wow was for the lime the limey <laughs> the limey. Have, yeah, have a good night, bomber. Yeah, we probably will be. At this point, we're just riffing. So. Yeah, heading <laughs> out as well. My my one earbud's already died. The other one's about to. Oh, that's that's, the that's time. our cue. That's, that's how we know. Yeah. yeah, that's how we know. My earbuds die. It's time to call it. Oh, by the way, do, do you remember I told you about those uh, cheap headphones that were like yeah. that were from like a super company? They actually arrived. Oh, did you get them? I'm using are them right good? now. Are they are they good? Is it working? Here. Oh, the in ear monitors? Yeah, that's what I've been that's what I use too. Uh is it good? Well you can't hear me now, you have it out. I didn't hear anything because I Yeah, I, I know, because you get out. Well no, that's where you gotta keep the other one in. <laughs> is it is it good? Is it is, is it they is are, it yeah. No, they're pretty solid. And they're not like, Raycon. I was using I was using a basic <laughs> pair of headphones. I was just using a um like a like a like a regular pair of earbuds, yeah. And um, put these in, and they are they are legit. Like they are they are noticeably much but be- not sponsored. No, not sponsored. They are noticeably much better. But the reason why I would even bring it up here is because they were only fifteen dollars when yeah, every other thing on the site good. was like eight hundred dollars. I I mean for fifteen, but it is oh it is my birthday this weekend. I don't That's know if right. I'm able to do a special stream or not, but uh, I, I want to at some point. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll have to buy myself a pair for my birthday. Splurge that whole $15. $15 shipping worldwide, so don't expect them anytime soon. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it took literally about a month in order to arrive, but... Um, that's right. Your birthday starts the chain of birthdays. It do- yeah, does it? Does it? It's, uh, um, I I have a birthday list here, and it starts with yours, and then Nervell's uh, anniversary for game director, Scribs' birthday. But so both of those both of those are in April. Then Ember's or uh, not Ember, <laughs> Waffle. Who? Change your name on this. Who? Gosh darn it! Who? <laughs> Who? Nobody. Um, Andy's, and also Andy's birthday. Then the Secret World Legends anniversary near Spinosaur's birthday. You're like a grandma with a birthday journal. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's all it's all in my Rolodex. <laughs> my spreadsheets. It's in my spreadsheets. Yeah, the, the, this year's this year's the big the big uh, answer to life, the universe, and everything. I'm very excited nice, about dude. This For, 42. 42. Very very uh, Hitchhiker's Guide relevant number. I'll need to remember to bring a towel. Um, so, so yeah. Let me let me find it real quick. We'll get you a gargle uh, blaster. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, I posted it in my own Discord. Yeah, I'm just for try anyone else. I'm stay gonna try and do something. I, I I do suggest them. They came. They showed up. They're legit. Yeah, I I remember that link. I'll check them out. Um. I think I'll probably just order a pair and just see what happens. Just if anything much. else, they just feel like they are just, you know, you spend $15 on a pair of headphones, which is not a lot for a pair of headphones these days. Uh, they are well above the $15, I would say. So, not sponsored. Life, the universe just, and everything. Just something cool that I found that seems much higher quality than what you pay for. It's basically what I'm saying. Alt. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna try. I, I don't know if I'll be able to do it Saturday or Sunday. Birthday Sunday, so I might try and do it Saturday night. Maybe I don't know. I'll try and do something. I, oh, oh, you know what though? Um, before we end, 
Speaking of, Saturday, um, on Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern, the uh, Agneto Cabal in Secret World is going to start summoning mega bosses in order to promote charities relating to the Ukrainian humanitarian crisis. Nice. Okay. It will summon at least 50 and perhaps more if people are interested. So that's Saturday, March 26, 10 a.m. Eastern. So tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Well, well, technically, now. yes, tomorrow. Uh, I mean, but... <laughs> oh, wait, yes. What, what, one <laughs> more sleep. Relating to right now, Friday and not Thursday night. All right, okay. Saturday. We'll just say Saturday, yeah. Yeah, Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, Needle will be summoning mega bosses in Secret World to promote charities relating to the Ukrainian humanitarian crisis. That was actually posted in my Cabal Discord, and I just, um, so I didn't, I didn't see, I don't know if it was on the forums, I didn't, I honestly I was like, didn't yeah, where is that, where is that posted, anywhere, anywhere bigger? Like I said, it was, it was in my, my Cabal, uh, Discord. Hmm. I'm not sure where else it got put, but, you know, they put it in my Discord, because they, uh, that was Wolf Spider. They um they were I raided with me this week, and I I know they've I've done like um extra life with them before. Okay. Like Nito's done a bunch of stuff for extra life as well, so. Um, they probably in the secret world in the secret world um. Formal Discord, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure, but they but like I said, they put it in in my Cabal Discord, so I figured before we end, uh, I'd give that a shout. Yeah. Seems like a like a good. Uh... It's basically, 10 a.m. Saturday, starting mega bosses, going until yeah. they're out. Question mark. Yeah. Was they said at least 50? That's a lot of mega bosses. That takes time. That's a lot of free signet stuff for people that want to join in. Let me see the. Is it in the? No, not not really seeing anything in the community events. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure where else they put it. Um... And also, Shambhala always goes on on Saturdays. Yeah, that's true. It, it just generally is happening here. I'll I'll put I'll paste this in the Discord. Uh, waffle. What I got. So I don't know. I don't know where else they've they've put it. But but anyways. Yeah. Anyway. I just want to give it a. Shot you heard it here first. Before we before we take off. Yeah. No. For real. That's good stuff. So like, is it somewhere else? Can we promote it from being somewhere else? No, not that I, not that I saw. Like I said, it yeah. was just posted directly at my Discord, so I don't know if it was posted anywhere else. I didn't see it on the forum, but it doesn't mean it's not somewhere else. Well, if you're there, tell them we sent you. Tell them Jimmy sent you specifically. All right. So agents, this has been the Zero Point Report. Strain sixty. We did sixty of these. Dash E O N. Who'd have thought? You can catch us recording live every other Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here on the Zero Point Report Twitch channel, where you can also join us and chat with us while we do the show live, or download our show wherever podcasts are found so you can listen to us on the go. Jimmy, where can we find you online? Uh, you can find me at jimmytherabbit.com, twitch.tv slash jimmytherabbit, youtube.com slash jimmytherabbit, and at one jimmytherabbit on Twitter, because Twitter hates me. <laughs> Enigma of Apples. And Two-Ton Waffle, where can we find you online? In an orange. The arch nemesis of apples. That's rough. Oh. No, you can find me here on Twitch at Two-Ton Waffle, plus also TwoTonWaffle.com. And Twitter, if you decide to go over to Twitter and look me if up. Yeah, if you're there. If you're passing by, just, you know, say hello. Not bad. And you can find me both on Twitter and here on Twitch at Big Mikey Ocho. Uh, you can get in touch with us by engaging with the show on Twitter at Zero Point Report, checking out previous shows on our YouTube channel, and joining us on our Discord server, both named The Zero Point Report. So from all of us here at The Zero Point Report, we want to thank you for tuning in and wish you all the best from the secret world. Uh, go wish uh, Fergus, we're not saying it correctly, Fergus Abernathy, go wish him a, a happy equinox and... Have a great night, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.